Let's look more closely at the actions that the smooth muscles of the stomach allow our stomach to do. So peristalsis is the contraction of the stomach muscle. The first thing that allows our stomach to do is have propulsion. We're gonna go from the esophagus and move down closer to the, the pylorus. So from the cardiac region and, and fundus to the body and ultimately pylorus, the pyloric end. Pylorus. This is waves moving in one direction. As the food gets close to the pyloric end, those waves get even stronger and those waves force the pyloric sphincter open. Here's our sphincter. When it is forced open, food, which is now called chyme, enters it. Chyme is a very acidic fluid that passes from the stomach to the small intestine Ideally, you don't want them coming back up, up the other way. It's acidic, you know that, right? It contains gastric juices and partially digested food. So that happens, that's grinding. Some is forced out, the rest kind of gets pushed back. And that's the last piece here is retropulsion. So going back um, because kind of, of the force against that sphincter, um, most of the contents of the stomach is actually pushed backwards into the stomach opposed to through that sphincter. This is gonna allow it to mix, right? This is gonna happen over and over again. We're gonna have further propulsion and retropulsion that is the over and over mixing and grinding of food. Very convenient. The process by which this happens so the entry to the, the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter is tightly regulated and the properties of this chyme are gonna be important. So like how acidic is it? How much is the food digested? How much of there is it is going to feedback to regulate gastric activity.